All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, welcome uh, back after uh, Rosh Hashanah, a little brief break. So uh, the time is late, and I'm going to try, we'll probably go up until 8 o'clock, wherever we get. Um, I do want to go beyond that. So at least uh, 8 o'clock is usually our stop-off point. Um, and if we don't get ahead today, we'll, we'll catch back up this week. So today is actually Daf Mem Gimel is today's Daf. We left off uh, towards the bottom of Mem Beis Amad Aleph in Meseches Erevin. So we left off a good place. Va'amar Rav Nachman, Amar Shmuel. Maybe 12 lines from the bottom, not the two dots, four lines after, or three lines after that. So Va'amar Rav Nachman, Amar Shmuel, Shabbos, Bebiko. So let's say a person, he starts Shabbos and he's in a field, he's in an open field. Vikifua nachrim mechitza b'shabbos, right? And then uh, goyim make basically encircle him, and in other words, basically make a wall on Shabbos mechitza b'shabbos. Mahalich apay mama, he's allowed to go, right? In other words, normally if he, they go ahead and they put him, right, he normally has only uh, a certain amount of amos, so he's, he can go walk two thousand amos. Even when he's surrounded by the mess, not the chiddush yet. However, what's the chiddush? Like usual, al zriko, and he can go ahead and carry it. So even if that area that they enclose is larger than two thousand amos, so obviously he can't go ahead and carry something more than two thousand amos because he can't walk beyond two thousand amos. But he's allowed to go ahead and throw things. So even if it's four thousand or you know five thousand amos around, he's allowed to go ahead and throw it from where he's at. It's not a problem of carrying. Uh, in other words, so he's allowed to walk up to his tchum and even throw beyond, as long as it now is within this, basically this new enclosure that the Goyim did. That was one opinion. That was the opinion of Rav Nachman. Rav Huna Omar, Mahal Chapayim Ama, Umetaltel Dal Amos. Says Rav Huna, he's allowed to walk. I agree with you, you can walk, go ahead, 2,000 Amos, right? Like any other time, a person has 2,000 Amos each direction. However, when it comes to carrying, he can't carry more than Dal Amos. He can't, the enclosure is nothing. I've been the Bakula, Aide Zrika. So why don't you be, how come he can't uh, be able to go uh, around and uh, carry throughout, like Zrika, like the opinion of Rav Nachman? So my answer is, Shani Mashaykh, Acher Chavetza. Because perhaps, let's say he throws something, and then perhaps he's going to go ahead and walk to go ahead and retrieve the item, and he's going to walk outside the tchum. So therefore, since he's going to walk beyond it, therefore it's problematic. So Gabbara says, As I, Bapai Mihas, the Tautel. So he said, I maybe, okay, so let him be able to carry at least up to 2,000. So, so Gemara says, no, because of here we're talking, so we're talking about that this enclosure around him is basically, there's two different areas of things going on here, right? There's the space of where he's allowed to carry, right? And there's a space where he's allowed to walk. So you want to say he can carry throughout, and but the space is only 2,000. So there's like an imaginary uh, fence around this 2,000 amos, which is within the area that he should be able to carry. So since that is basically a fence, right? So um, it, it's a mechitza shenifritza b'malo. It's a, basically like a fence that most of it has, has fallen down, or all of it is, because there is no physical barrier stopping him from the area where he could walk or the area that he could carry, right? And since that's the other makam so, so therefore, it's, since it's considered to be a fence that basically is not there, therefore, that fence, therefore, it doesn't work, and therefore, it's like he can't carry, and therefore, he can only go ahead and walk 2,000 amas according to Rav Huna, but he can't go ahead and carry only Dalad Amos. Um, now, so, uh, so now, see, Chiba Rav Omar, now Chiba Rav says, he's only, he can go ahead and walk 2,000 hours, and he can also carry 2,000 hours. So, come on, who's this like? The like Rav Nachman, it's not like Rav Nachman, Rav Nachman held, he can go ahead and even throw something beyond the 2,000 hours that he can walk. The like Rav Huna, not like Rav Huna, because Rav Huna says you can't, you can't carry something for, you know, 2,000 hours, rather, you can only carry within Dalad Amos. So Gemara says, no, aim a metal to ba'arba. Don't say he can walk for 2,000. Rather, he can only carry, so don't say he can carry for 2,000. Rather, say he can carry for Dalad Amos. If that's the case, yeah, that's the same as Rav Huna. Rav Huna said that. He said he can walk 2,000 and only carry four Amos. Say, Amos, okay, search to say, v'chein omar Rav Chia barav. So too, Rav Chia barav said the same as Rav Huna. And however, Amr le Rav Nachman le Rav Huna says Rav Nachman Rav Huna loy tif lagalad Shmuel. Do not argue with Shmuel, right? Because Shmuel taught uh, he brought the alimut the tiny with an abrisa. Kavos say we have a brisa in support of Shmuel. That uh, the in other words that's brisa which was Rav Nachman or Shmuel. The tiny with an abrisa. Turn the page. Have you made it? Bar. 
The Colossal Midasa Bechati Ha'ir. Let's say a person was measuring how far his 2,000, let's say he started his Shabbos outside the city and he was measuring his 2,000 Amos and it basically stopped somewhere in the middle of town. In, in a closed town. So, he's allowed to go ahead and carry, right, throughout the entire city. As long as he doesn't walk beyond. So, even though he can't, he's allowed to carry throughout the entire city, even though he can't walk throughout the entire city, he can only walk to the end of his 2,000 Amos. Now, the Gemara asks, so how can somebody carry something beyond his 2,000 Amos if he can't walk there? Right, lab aide zrika is not referring to zrika. Right, you can take a ball, and even though he's standing at the end of his two thousand amos, and he can throw it beyond the two thousand amos. So therefore, you see, like Rav Nachman and Shmuel, that one can carry beyond, and not like Rav Huna who says, no, you can only carry dal amos. So Rav Huna, lo lo aide mashicha. Maybe over there means different. Maybe only means that he that which he can carry. No, it's something that he can reach. He can't walk beyond it. No, it's he can ali akula if he can reach. Beyond there, then he could pull it in towards him, but he can't uh, do zrika throughout. And Amar Rav Huna, Hayamaydei, similar case, Hayamaydei, but Vukalasa Midasa Bechati Chatzir. Let's say a person once again he started Shabbos and he measured two thousand amos each direction, and one of these two thousand amos ended up in the middle of a of of, of, of a private chatzir. Ain lo ella chati chatzir. He could only walk in, in half the yard. So it was pshita. So Gavar says it's obvious. Ema yesh lo chati chatzir, right? So he says no. He he has chati chatzir. So goes how many pshita? That's also obvious. So now the Mojiv said li chush dilma asi latuta bekula. Maybe that he, that which you said he can carry up until the point of where his two thousand amos. Maybe you say even carrying in any part of the chatzir should be asr because maybe he's going to go ahead and carry beyond where his two thousand amos. Right? He might get confused since it's a chatzir. Since you know it's confusing if he can carry in half of it, but he can't carry in the other. Maybe you come to carry throughout. Kamash Malon, that he's allowed to go ahead and carry in the half that he's allowed to go ahead and walk. And Amar Rav Nachman, Maidili Huna, uh, however, Rav Huna would agree to me in this case. Let's say you went ahead and you measured your 2,000 Amos and went up until basically a, 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 a ruins or something like that that had a, a um, like the, a roof, right? Up until a roof, and up until the edge of the roof was your 2,000 amos. So even though the, you can walk further, but that which you walk further beyond the 2,000 was basically covered. So your open space was up until the 2,000, right? And then beyond the 2,000, it was closed you know, when he measured it. So now, such a case, he says, Rav Huna would agree to him. Right? You can go ahead and carry throughout the house. And I was even underneath, you can go ahead and carry my time. What's the reason? Right? Since, you know, so you'd be able to throw or do something beyond, right, the, the area that he could walk. Why is that? Because there's a clear wall, right? The clear wall is Pitikra. We know there's a halacha, right? That if, you have, if, there's, if there's a, a ceiling here or, or a, a roof, that we say Pitikra, you're the same, right? We say that the, the, basically the edge of the roof goes down. So since that goes down, it's like it's a wall there. And therefore, he's not going to go ahead and walk beyond the area, but he can go ahead and throw things beyond that area. And he would say that Ravuna would agree in such a case. Fine. Omar Ravuna. It's actually a machlegas tonight. That's what we'll be talking about. Let's look at our Mishnah. Halichu le'era cheres. Now, let's say, remember, so the case in our Mishnah we discussed, right, it's been a while. So it was a person was taken out of his tchum. He was forcibly taken out of his tchum and he was placed in another area. So he said, if he goes to another area, he only gets uh, the shalev, he gets, you know, dalamos, or he can get 2,000 amos, or if he's brought back forcibly. So the case was, halichu le'era cheres. If so, they forcibly took him out of his city. And they brought him to another city, Vanasnu Badir of Asar, and they put him basically in an enclosure. Rabbi Gamliel, Rabbi Ezra, Ben Azari, Oymi Mahalich Kula. He's allowed to go out in the in enclosure, just as if he would have started Shabbos there and he gets the entire clo- enclosed area, right? Like a city or something like that. So, too, since he was forcibly removed from his town and brought to this area, he can walk throughout. And Rabbi Yeshua, Rabbi Kiva, I mean, a lo ella arba amos. He only gets four amos. Since he didn't start his Shabbos there, it's like a person who left his tchum, a person who leaves his tchum, only gets dal amos, even though he was forced there. So what's the machlekes there? So my love, Rabbi Gamliel, Rabbi Liaz, Rabbi Nazario, Damru, Mahalichas, Kula. What's the reason why they say you want the whole thing? The lo gazri hiluch dir v'sahar, atu hiluch v'bika. Right? In other words, they don't, go, they don't make a, a gzera. Now, normally, if they go ahead and the guy drop you off in a yard, right, in a bika, 
right? They, they force you out of your house and you into a bika, you only get Dalit Amos there, right? But over here in a town, you get the entire, or, or this, let's say, enclosure, you get the entire enclosure, even though um, you weren't there before. So there is no gzera of this enclosure because of a town. And I was, if we allow you, maybe that you would think that if we allow you to only, if you walk throughout the town or the enclosure that you were placed in, maybe you would be able to walk 2,000 amos in a field that you're dropped off in. But we, we don't say that, right? So there, there is no gzera. So according to Rabbi Ram Gamliel, and Rabbi Yezer, there is no gzera. And therefore, if he's person, so they said, no, even, we're not worried that you're going to confuse this with a field. If you go to a field, you only get Dalit Amos. But in this case, you get the entire town. Um, the halich, uh, to Yo, uh, yes. Sorry, sorry, where are we up to? Uh, middle of Mem Bays, Amud uh, Bays, right? Thank uh, you. Smack, smack in the middle line, right? So you say, um, or which uh, 42 B2 if you have the art scroll, right? So he says, Rabbi Yezman Zahar, Dami Mahalich is Kula, Deloy Gazi Hiluch, Dervasar, Ato Hiluch Babika. Now, Umida Halich, Ato Hiluch Logazi, by the fact that we don't say Hiluch, Ato Hiluch Logazi, no, by the fact it says there is no Gzeir, we'll say, okay, you have to say Dalamos because you, the other case where you're restricted to Dalamos, we don't want to confuse the two. Tilto Ato Hiluch Logazi, therefore, to, if you're allowed to go ahead and walk, we're not going to stop you from caring. So since by walking to walking, we're not going to certainly be caring. So therefore, we, what do you see? If you're allowed to walk in an area, you're allowed to go ahead and carry. All right. So now as we, that was the Michael we had originally, right? If a person was placed in an area, he can only walk a certain amount. Is he allowed to even throw something beyond that? Or can he only walk there? So says uh, the first opinion, maybe Rabbi Gomil holds that the reason why he can walk throughout and, and, and we're not worried, the person also can carry throughout. Rabbi Shuba, Rabbi Kiva, Imrim, and they say, no, Ain't lo el armas. The reason they only armas, why? Degazi he look dear masar auto he look the bika right the bika. They said since if you put in a field you only get dal ramos. So therefore we don't want to confuse another case and say therefore if you're dropped off in another enclosure you also only get dal ramos. Umi the halich into umi the he look auto he look gazi. But the fact that they say okay in one case you can't walk more than dal ramos because the other case dal ramos. So. Tilto ato he look rami gazi. Therefore, there are also guys that you can't in an area where you can walk two thousand. We still won't allow you to go ahead and carry in an enclosure. So that's the, maybe the machlokes tonight. The same machlokes we we started with today between Rav Huna and Rav Nachman is this machlokes of our Mishnah? The Gemara says no, it's different. Mimai Dilma kiloi gazi Rabbi Gamliel of Rabbi Yezban Azariah he looks are a dear ato he look bika. Maybe the reason why they didn't compare the cases and we didn't confuse it to make a zayir in a case of a person who is brought to an enclosure versus a a, a person who is brought they say into an open field. Hani mili hasim the shneim akamas hein. That's two different types of fields. One is a is a field. And the other one, right, is an enclosure. In other words, we're not talking about the same space. About tiltil, atahiluch. But if we're talking about when a person was placed inside, let's say, a large enclosure, and he only has 2,000 amos, but maybe he can go ahead and, and, and throw to the 5,000 amos because that's all enclosed, that is one mako, right? About tiltil, atahiluch, but mako mechadu. And maybe that case is one, one case. And Hakanami the Gazer Gazera, maybe in there, in that case, Rabbi Galil would say, no, we're going to make a Gazera, Shemi Mashi, Achachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachach
by a guy from his, his, his Makom Shvisa, and he's taken to another area in an enclosure. Halachas like a Gamliel, that even though you can walk, that you can walk 2,000, you can also throw 2,000. Uva Svina. And also in the case of the Svina, a case of a boat, a person is on a ship and then it's moving, he's allowed to go ahead and carry throughout the ship, uh, even though it's, going, it's, it's beyond the 2,000 Amos when he started Shabbos. It was Shmuel Lamar, and Shmuel says, no, Hilchasa Karam Gamil, the Svina, Halachas Karam Gamil, and the Svina that you can't carry throughout, the Svina, even though it has left the dock and it's now more than 2,000 Amos away from your original start point, you can, you can do that. About the Din Vassar, low, but in the case of Din Vassar, but in the case of an enclosure, then you would not be able to go ahead and walk throughout, rather you only get Dalad Amos. However, the Kuliyama Mias, Halach Karam Gamil, the Svina, the whole, everyone agrees that the Halachas Karam Gamil in the case of the Svina. All right, so now we're going to come on to a new math like this. So my timer, what's the reason? We have two opinions now. Amir Rabba, Poil the Shabbos be other, Mechitzas mi Since he's on a boat. Now what's the case? He's on a boat, right? He's sitting there before Shabbos. Shabbos starts, okay? And then he's, he's on the boat and then it takes off. So now it moves. Now your original space was, you were by the port, right? But now it moves a mile away. You, you, you're, you're all of a sudden, you're beyond 2000. So maybe you can't walk. So, so, so the halach is that you, you're allowed to use the entire boat, the entire boat, wherever it is, you can walk throughout and carry throughout, right? Wherever it goes, even beyond the 2000. Why is that? So Rabbi says, because since when he started Shabbos, right, the walls basically enclosed it for him. And wherever these walls were, those walls work for him. So he says, no, it's different, different Svar. As far as since this boat is constantly moving, so therefore, it's always taking him outside his Dalad Amos. So therefore, he's always recreating his Dalad Amos, and therefore, he could always walk because his Dalad Amos is not moving. It's not where he was before. So therefore, he can walk throughout. Since the boat is moving it, it's basically removing him from his Dalad Amos and putting him in a new Dalad Amos. So therefore, the entire area is really his Dalad Amos. That was a pin of Rabzera, so my benai, what's an after me? Let's say the walls are too short, right? If the walls are less than 10 tfach, and maybe you wouldn't get the entire uh, boat, according to the rabbah, because the walls didn't work to basically make the whole thing in an enclosure. However, according to the second pin of uh, you would say that since the boat is moving, you obviously get an extended daladamos or inami or a bekaifes, right? Misfina, lesfina. Person's going from boat to boat. The person goes from boat to boat. So then uh, he, he didn't start in a boat, so the walls would have worked. But since he's boat to boat, he's constantly moving. So therefore, since the boat is moving him from one ear to the other, he would get more Dalaramas. So therefore, he would be able to go ahead and walk throughout uh, the entire boat. But Rabzera, now Rabzera, my time law, Amir Karaba. Rabzera, why did you not give the reason for Rabba that the walls should make an enclosure? And therefore, you should, wherever those, the walls are, as long as you're within the walls, even if it's, you know, two miles from the port, you should be able to walk there. So, my time law, Amir Karaba, so he says, Mechitzos, Mechitzos, it's only made to keep out the water. It's not made to go ahead and basically for the people on the boat. It's made for outside. And therefore, since it's made outside, it's not real machitza. So therefore, it doesn't consider it to be gathered at all. And the rabbi, my time, lo amek rab zero. Rabbi, why does it not like zero? pligi. So he says, no, if the boat is moving, everybody agrees that you get the entire boat. So ki pligi bisha'amda. We're only talking about, let's say, when the boat stops. When it stops outside the tchum, so let's say it goes two miles in the port, and then it anchors there, and then it sits there. So then in that case, so he says, no, well, since it's not moving anymore, you don't have the svara of it's constantly moving your daladamos. And therefore, the only reason is because you have the, the, the walls enclosed it from before Shabbos. And our mission also is mashman that way. Why? Then in case of when the boat is moving, no one argues. Everyone agrees that if the boat is still moving, everyone agrees you can walk throughout the ship. Why is that me my? Me lektani. By in fact, it says Maisa Shabo me pal darsin. When they come from darsin, they flee. But and then so there's a Maisa when they were in the pal darsin. They guess that it took off into the sea. And Rabbi Gamliel, Rabbi Elzer, Ben Azaria, Halchu es Kula. They walked throughout. And Rabbi Yeshua, Rabbi Kiva, Lo Yizazu, Me Arba Amos. They didn't walk Dalamas. Sheratzu lahachmer alatzman because they wanted to be machmer on themselves. Now, what's the proof? So Iyam Mart to be shlova b'halachas loy pligi. If you say if it's moving, everybody agrees. That you get the entire boat. There's no argument there. Hainu diktani rotsu. That's why it said if they wanted to be machmer. They didn't need to, right? Rotsu. So Dilma Amda, because perhaps it might stop. Since it might stop, then you know, um, then you you know you won't be able to do more. So therefore, they wanted to be machmer just in case it stops. 
Eliamarta Pligi. But if you say the argument of the moving boat, hi Ratsu Bahmir, what would it say they wanted to be a Mahmir? Isurhu. According to them, it would have been Usr. They wouldn't just say, oh, they wanted to be Mahmir on themselves. They would have just said, you're not allowed to go more than Dalit Amos, because it's Usr. So obviously that when it's moving, everybody agrees you can walk throughout the boat. And I'm Ravashi, Masnison, Nami Dika. You can also have another inference. Uh uh Ella it so what's that? The rest of the Amda. Ella you might have um Oh yeah, fine. So Amaravashi um, Masnis and Amidik and also from the mission, you can also learn another Diktani says that there's Svina Dumia de Dirvasar. So right? we talked about a ship, and we also talk about this enclosure. Ma Dirvasar, just like the, a pen or enclosure de kvi, those are set and those don't move. Af Svina Nami de Kvi. So too we're talking about a ship also that doesn't move. And Omar Le Rav Acha Bere de Rav Ravashi says Rav Acha Bere, the son of Rav Ravashi, Hilchasa Karangamil Basvina. So the halakha is like, I'm going to be on the Sfina that you can walk throughout, even if the ship leaves after Shabbos, and it leaves the port from where he started Shabbos, and he's more than 2,000 hours away, he can still walk throughout the boat. So, hilchasa michal de pligi, so by the, same, by the fact you say halakha is like, I'm going right? You say, there's a machlaik, is there? So, in, yeah, but times we learn, Hananya says, Ben, there's Aleph, Hananya, Ymer, Kaloiso, Hayayim, Yashru, Vidanu, Bedavar, the entire day they're sitting and learning the man of Halacha, Emosh, in the evening, Hichriya, Achi, Abba, in the evening, there's his, uh, his father's brother, Halacha, Karam Gamliel, the Halacha is like a little Vasvina, of Halacha, Rabbi Kiva, Bedimasar, the Halacha is like a Gamliel on a boat, uh, so it wasn't Machlagas in a case of moving boat, and the Halacha is like Rabbi Kiva in a, in a case of an enclosure. Fine, new case, two dots. So, Boy, Rab Chanina says, Chanina, Yesh Tchum Lamala Miasara, or Ain Tchum Lamala Miasara. We talk about Tchumen, right? You're on the ground, 2,000 amos, that's where you get to walk. Now, let's say somehow a person is above, right? Above the ground. In other words, are you in violation, right? If you're off the ground, more, let's say, more than 10 Tfachim off the ground, so we'll soon see, beyond those 2,000 amos, right? Or there is no Tchumen Lamal Miasar. So, Amud Gavo Asar Barach of Arba, if we're talking about something which is 10 Tfachim high and it's already for by four tefachim, loyti boilecha. That is not a question, right? That's really part of the ground. It's a large platform people can walk on. That's really something that people walk on. So, kiti boilecha, but amud kavo asara. Let's say there's a, there's a pole or something, which is more than 10, ve'in aruch of arba, it's not four tefachim, inami, or the cause of the kvitza. Right, when he goes bekvitza, right? Rashi says bekvitza is b'shem, right? B'shem. Um, um, uh, using Shem Hashem, person says Shem Hashem, somehow he, he floats, right, in the air. Or another case of, I think, uh, I think also this is by uh, water. One second. Kvitza. Right, b'shem. Or, or, and lishna chrin, some say b'svina, right? Some say b'svina. If he's on a ship, in other words, the ship is more than 10 tfachim off, the, 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 the bottom of the sea, right? So maybe that's not tchum, right? In other words, so therefore, right, as long as, even if you, so basically once it goes beyond 10 tfachim, is beyond 2,000 or less than 2,000 amos from the port, then it will be okay to go out. There's no problem at all to go on a boat because the boat is more, it's in, quote unquote, in the air, it's more than 10 tfachim off the ground. So my, so look at the case in the mission. They said they were in this port in Pal Darsin. Then the, the boat, the ship left and they went. So if you want to say that there is such thing as even in the air more than 10 Tfachim up, that's why it was Shayach for them to be Machmir. Okay, let's be Machmir because Tchum does is Shayach. But if there's no Tchum above 10, Amai Ratsu. Why would they, why would they want to be machmer themselves? It doesn't apply at all. So Gemara says no. Maybe Kedama Rabba Malachas Barakak. Maybe over we're talking about the case of when Rabba described the Malachas Barakak is when they basically was very shallow. Since it was very shallow, so therefore the boat was not more than Tetfachim off the ground, and therefore it wasn't considered like they were in the air, right? It was considered like they were on the ground because they were within 10. So in this case, it was considered like it was, you know, it was, it was shallow and therefore it was low. And where was that case said? So Tashma, come and listen. Now the other mice that brought in a Mishnah, they were coming from Namal and they, they came to the port, but they came in on Shabbos, but they were in the sea. So the Maisa was, and he saw, oh no, since I saw it on Shabbos, therefore we were within 2,000 Amos. So don't worry, you can get off, you can, uh, you know, get off the boat. So you might have to be yesh tchum in the shop here. If you saw over here, there is tchum, in other words, uh, above 10. That's the reason why they, they maybe didn't want to get off, because they're, if they're farther than 2,000 Amos, 
despite the fact they were more than 10 Tfachim off the bottom of the sea, it's the Tchum is still Shaykh then, because Tchum is Shaykh of more than 10 Tfachim. Eliyamarte ain't Tchumen, but if you hold that, there is no Tchum. Shabbos, right, about 10, Kilo, Kilo Haina, Besarech Tchum, my Havila. Who cares if, he, if they were within 2, 000, less than 2,000 hours of the port or, or 5,000 hours, right? It doesn't make a difference because it, it was, uh, uh, you know, more than 10 Tfachim off the floor of the sea. And on that case, I'm a rabbi, I'm a malachas baraka. But they were talking about a case of where basically, no, it was shallow water. And if they, if they were 5,000 amos away, but it would be a problem because it was 5,000 amos away, but it was within 10 tfachim of the ground. And Toshma, another proof, Hani, Shev Shemite. So there were seven halachas that were said to eat tomorrow, but Tzipor, uh, but Tzafra, excuse me, in the morning, but Shabbosa, Kamei, Derav, Chizda, but there was There were seven halachas that said in the morning on Shabbos before of Chizda and Surah. And Bahadi Panayi, but Shabbos in the later in the afternoon, Kamei, Derav, but Rav, Disa. In the later in the afternoon, the halachas were said by the same person in Pumbadisa. Uh, so now, Surah and Pumbadisa were far from one another, right? They were they beyond the Tchum of one another. So, Man Aminu. So, who, who was the one who said it? How could the per- same person say in both? Lav Eliyahu Amrinu, isn't Eliyahu Anavi, right, who follows halachas, Eliyahu Anavi, said them both. So how did he travel from one place to the other? Easy, right? He flew, right? Eliyahu basically went above 10 Tvachim, and 10 Tvachim is not considered to be the ground, therefore we see Tchum is not Shaykh. So Almein Tchumen, Lamal Amesar, therefore we see there's no Tchum more than uh, above 10. And he says, no, Lo Dilma Yosef Shida Amrinu. Right? Perhaps it was Yosef Shida. Yosef Shida, I guess he was also somebody who had the ability to fly. He was like a shade or some sort of demon. He was also able to fly, but uh, go over 10. But I guess he didn't care being about Tchum. So maybe Tchum is Osir. He just didn't care. So it's not a proof there. So maybe we'll stop here. Tomorrow, Mitzvah Shem, we'll continue. We'll, we'll, we'll catch up uh, tomorrow. Uh, we still have a couple more days to catch up before Shabbos. So uh, everyone should have a wonderful day. And uh, we'll, we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow morning. And have an easy fast. Do well. Amen.